You're gonna pay for that later. Like God is gonna judge you. The underwear. I'm right, I was just playing. Bro. I was just What's up, y'all? Welcome to my new series called Wardrobe Tales. My change it if you guys can think of a better name, where we're gonna be talking to a bunch of other YouTubers, a bunch of other creators, people into fashion, and we're just gonna be chatting about people's favorite items, fashion, just anything really. And for our first, why not start it off with a bang by chatting with my old roommate, Frugal Aesthetic. This was the last video I filmed when I was in New York. I'm currently in Las Vegas. So let's just pretend we're in New York and we're heading to Christian's office. What's happening, everyone? What up? We're here with uh, my brother, Christian. What is? Christian, Christian. What's good? Ex roommate, what's good, man? What's good, man? How you doing? Uh, I'm chilling, man. Yeah. How you doing after moving out? Uh, How long has it been? It's been about four years, I oh, think. Oh, yeah. Since LIC? Four years? Four years. Damn, four years. Wow, that was a long time ago. Well, anyways, we're here with Christian. We're here to chat about some of his favorite garments that he owns. Johnny approached me with this last night. I had one night to think of my five favorite things, dude. I've yeah. never been asked this question before and I had to think about this. All right, so yeah. <laughs> what do you think What do you think the viewers want to see? We got short attention spans nowadays. You yeah. know, everyone wants to get to the business. I'm just gonna bring out my most expensive piece. Let's go. First. Got this big boy right here. It's about- oh, snap. It's about 10 pounds. 10 pounds of just animal skin, man. So uh, this is a Chrome Hearts. Leather jacket, Woo. pretty straightforward. There's nothing like special about it, but. Yeah, very simple. Yeah. All right, let's just cut to the chase, Johnny. How much do you think this is worth? Uh, Four Gs? Yeah, man. That's, you're pretty right on the money. <laughs> if you were How much off, is it? if you were off by five grand. Nine Gs? Okay, but I did not buy Nine it Nine Gs. That. I'm just gonna say this right now. Like, if I could go back, I would not spend that much money on a, on, on a jacket, but I just wanted to do it because it was like, you gotta live XS sometimes, you know? Yeah. It's fun. But yeah, so I, I just bought this because, you know, I, I didn't buy any clothes for like a year. Like I fasted, like last year, I uh, stopped buying clothes because I was like, I wanted to see what it would be like if I could just work with the clothes in my closet. And also I was like starting a brand and it was like, I wanted to find like reasons that I would need to buy clothes to start this brand. So um, what I did was I just didn't buy anything. Mm -hmm. And so over that time, like I found like, I was like, oh, I wish I had this. And so for whenever I had a moment where I'm like, I wish I had this piece, I would just go and like try and make it or like right. try and make something close to it or like try and brainstorm that would come up with a solution to my problem. And it's hard to have a problem of like, it's hard to solve a problem when you don't have the problem because you're just buying clothes. Mm -hmm. So I didn't buy clothes for a year and I thought like it would be a cool comeback to just buy something absolutely ridiculous, just irresponsible purchase, but impulse. Super, actually it, was, it <laughs> was wasn't actually was impulsive. impulsive. I, I, my friend that sold me this, I sat on it for six months. Oh shit. I was like, yo, I'll, I'll come back to you in six months when I'm done with this fast and I'll mm -hmm. buy like the most expensive thing. And yeah, that's the story behind this. I just thought it would be funny to, to buy something absolutely ridiculous. Ridic and so you did it like a fashion fast? Before? Yeah. Fashion fast. It was fashion. 10 months. Damn. It was exactly 10 months. Nice. Yeah. I only recently came back. You recommend a fast the way people recommend intermittent fasting? Yeah, <laughs> yeah does, it, fast? does it work the same way? So, <laughs> so what happened for me was like, I was forced to kind of just work with my closet, which, you know, I can't even speak on like other people taking on the same thing because I'm yeah. blessed to have the closet that I have over the years of doing fashion content. Right. But it was fun just finding ways to experiment and fun like trying to solve problems that I had by like coming up with solutions and you will be seeing that later next mm -hmm. year when I do have the whole fucking thing coming out. But do I recommend it? It wasn't that fun. It was pretty boring, honestly, trying to come up with different versions of the same fit. Right. But I did save a lot of money and then I and I had lost all the progress right <laughs> away. So yeah, that's this. Um, here, you, you hold it. Hold. <laughs> It's, oh, shit. it's pretty heavy, man. Yo, you can do some lateral raises. Yeah, no, this, man. <laughs> grow your delts. Fifteen pound Damn. lateral raises, man. I will. Okay, if you're if you're presented the opportunity to do it, oh, this is your sign to do it. Yo, just interjecting here. Hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Let me know if you guys want more. But it is the holiday season coming up and I want to let y'all know about Lupin's Black Friday sale. Now, this isn't sponsored at all. Me and Lupin have designed a collection together and the owner and I are just really good friends and I'm just here to show my support. So right now for Black Friday, they are offering 20% off if you use the code Black Friday. And the sale ends on Monday, November 27th. Lupin is by far my favorite jewelry brand. That's exactly why I wanted to work with them when I designed my own collection. They use the highest quality 925 sterling silver that is 
handcrafted in Korea. I mean, just take a look at all the designs. They're minimal. They go with any style. You can check out my collection. And also take a look at these rings, which look amazing whenever they're stacked. I think this is a great gift for yourself or for the ladies if you're watching. This is a great gift for your mans. But the ladies, you can wear it as well. It's going to look good on you too. Like, I do not leave the house without ever wearing a piece from Lupin. It just goes perfectly with my style. I get a ton of compliments from it. And so would you. So don't miss out on their Black Friday sale. Just click that first link down in the description. Browse their sites. So you can check out my collection. They have a ton of other minimalistic designs. And I'm sure you're going to find a piece that you like. Remember, the discount code is Black Friday. The sale ends on November 27th. I don't think you're going to see prices this low again. But yeah, thank you for supporting me and my friends. Let's get back to hearing what Christian has no, to say. No, we're all the bullshit. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we can get on with the, with the cool, fun stories. Okay, so what do you want to see now? What are you, um, what are you thinking? Let's see, what's, what's, see, here's the thing with fashion YouTube and just fashion in general, the fashion space. Most people don't hold clothing items for like maybe more than two years, max, right? Everyone's wardrobe's always swapping out. Yeah. Do you have any pieces that are very old that you still rock? I do. I, the underwear I'm wearing right now, I've actually owned since 2004. 14. Mm. I used to work at this store and whenever things were on clearance, for whatever reason, the accessories on clearance, like the tags never rung at the door. Mm. So I would steal the underwear. You think everyone has a, a story like that where they, they've stolen something? Everyone that everyone, has worked at like a retail a, store has stolen from that I retail I feel like store. everyone has, has a story like that. Dude, the people that I used to work with, like the really good people that mm -hmm. were like older, that were moms and very good professionals in the store, would ask us to take things for them. Yeah, so so I would walk out the store wearing five pairs of underwear. Oh man. And yeah, and the underwear I'm wearing today is actually from that. But okay. actually the Wait, we can't see it. <laughs> the underwear I'm wearing. I was just playing, bro. I was just playing. The hey. underwear I'm wearing right, right now right, right, right. is uh the there same. There you go, everyone. The same <laughs> it's the athletic stretch underwear. Alright, but nine years old. But right. I did uh go out of my way to bring in a really old piece that uh, I have kept in my rotation, like constantly, regularly wear since 2016. Mm -hmm. All right, let me bring it out. All right, so this piece right here, if you go back on my Instagram and you go all the way to like whenever, you will see this piece. I feel like I met you. I was this wearing this piece Were you wearing the, this at the day that spot? I met you. Oh shit. Yeah, so the day I met Johnny, it was our friend's birthday party, in or friend's birthday dinner in 2017. Yeah. I wore this. I wore That's this in right. a bomber jacket under this or over this. Wow. Yeah. So this piece, it's this like old, like patchwork shirt, like button up shirt. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's funny because this type of shit is what's popping right it's now. It's popping right now. Dude, yeah. like this is like Bodhi is making stuff like this. But I found this at a Goodwill in Hawaii. Oh, snap. And I don't even know like what the brand is. It's just like. KI design? I don't know, yeah. Wow. It's, it's just probably some local like place that makes shirts. And I just really like the color composition. Like the color palette was really cool. Like the patterns were really cool. No matter like where my style has gone, like this has just found its way in. I think it just really, like this just really speaks for my personality. You know, it's from Hawaii. Right. And I think I do hold a lot of sentimental value to it. So yeah, this is like my oldest piece. Uh, that is currently still in my wardrobe that I yeah. that I regularly wear. Other than Beautiful. the underwear, of course. I wear the underwear all the time. My, the yeah. underwear has holes in it now, like over here. Uh -huh. And which I never thought was like a problem because like who is looking there but me. But then like I have a girlfriend and like sometimes I'm like sitting down like this <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck <laughs> is that? And I'm like, hey man, it's it's just distressing. It's okay, I got one too. We don't have a problem with that when it's your jeans. Yeah, man. Distressing, ventilation, come on. Yeah, man. Come on now. We don't have a problem when when Rick Owens does it. But <laughs> True. So yeah, uh, I think I bought this for like 20 bucks. Damn, yeah. that's solid. I've gotten work. And you've worn this, I've seen you wear this every, almost Dude, every year. You I'm, wear it at least once a year. I'm wearing this every time I see probably you. tomorrow to my friend's yeah. wedding. Nice. Yeah, to his reception. I'm probably gonna wear this. So yeah, this is a piece that I think I'm gonna have for the rest of my life as long as I remember to not like, you know, lose it. Yeah, and don't get any more, don't get more personal than, you know, where you're from. Yeah. Getting getting some, a piece from where you're from. Yeah, you and know? so honestly, you never know when it's gonna be the piece. Like I bought this on a whim, mm -hmm. like I did not, but yeah. This is the one, man. This is the one. All right. So what's what's been your style journey, you know? A lot can change in just one year, but it's been, you know, we met 
2017, obviously both of our styles were completely different. Let's, let's hear your journey with, with your fashion style. So I feel like when people talk about their style journey, there's the journey, there's always like this, uh, there's always like a sense of like, oh, I really like this aesthetic and then I moved on to this aesthetic and then I moved on to this aesthetic. But since like I talk about so many clothes and so many styles all the time, I feel like I've never been married to one thing because I'm just, my mind is always somewhere. So I feel like for me, the progression hasn't necessarily been a specific aesthetic to another aesthetic per se, but rather it's like a thought process, like of how I view fashion and how mm. I want to play the game and how it, I entertain it. And there came a point where I really wanted to push myself to see what type of clothes I could be comfortable wearing and comfortable styling. And I remember there was a specific point, like a specific piece that I tried to style and really stro like strive to get myself comfortable in that, in those shoes, no pun. And, uh, That's and right. it's gonna be these bad boys right here. The Rick Owens kiss heels here. Mm -hmm. You hold one, I'll hold one. I always thought I was really comfortable wearing whatever until these like really started taking over the market. And I remember seeing these like, man, that's like the first shoe where I'm like, I don't know if I have the balls to wear that. Yeah. And it like intrigued me, like not having the self security to wear something. Right. Because like I've been around clothes and talked about clothes for so long that I always just thought of that I could body whatever and just pick up whatever and style it. So I remember seeing these and my friends wearing them thinking like, man, those look so cool. Like I wanna, I wanna get to a point where I can wear those. So I bit the bullet and went out of my way to actually, uh, get myself a pair and like I made a whole video about it like wearing these for like a week sure I can get comfortable in them. Yeah. And I still love them. I love this silhouette. I don't wear them as much because honestly they're really hard to wear. Yeah. <laughs> but I still love you them. Have, you have to learn to walk with these. Surprisingly they're not that bad to walk. You should put them on right now. No, that video, you, the video you did, I, I yeah. tripped on it. I like almost snapped oh, my yeah. ankle. Oh, I got yeah. a bad ankle from skating, but um, I think that's that's probably what yeah, happened. Yeah, these aren't, I mean, they're not, yeah, they're not the easiest to walk in, but you'll be surprised. Like you can put them on and, and figure it out. Yeah. Like, but yeah, this was a piece, uh, it means a lot to me because this was like the first time where I really had to push myself to get comfortable in something. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I kind of used this as like, like I remember like trying to have to style this whenever I, want to push myself again. I'm like, okay, if I can wear these things, if I can walk around in these things, then I can wear whatever. Yeah, just you know? like, it's like if you can make it in New York and make it anywhere else, the same yeah. shit with this. Yeah, and it just <laughs> it just made fashion so exciting. Like it broadened my perspective right. on what I can wear. And obviously it's not like I'm going all out every day. Yeah. Like I'm not really going all out most of the time, but um, it was nice like uh, knowing that I could if I wanted to. It was a For cool sure. challenge, and so that's why these mean a lot to me. And it was just like, a, I feel like that was a pivot in my style journey, Right. you know? I like this. Did your gum like just dissolve? I swallowed it. Oh yeah, I just swallowed my, it just dis I'm a gum swallower, that man. Was, oh, you swallow all your gum? I'm a, I'm a swallower, man. You're a spitter? I'm a spitter. Oh, you know, no one likes a fucking spitter, man. Oh, all right. What I'm about you? Wait, 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 real quick though. What's What was your pivot in your style journey? Uh, like, what, what was the latest, like, latest moment that was like, that brought in a new era of Johnny Ty. Ah, my journey has been weird. I think it definitely started, cause I've always been into like sci-fi stuff. And especially after living with you, you introduced me to acronym actually. Mm. And I think the whole tech where scene space really changed my style. Cause I, I'm a former engineer dropout and I was just really into like cyberpunk. I'm and, not a former anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was definitely the, the whole tech we're seeing. That definitely expanded my style because I was more used to slim fitting, skinny clothes, but you know, tech where has a little bit of some bagginess that tapers and stuff. And and you just find that hard, that pivot from when you go from like form fitting, because you used to like really gym attire and yeah. athleisure stuff, because you were really fit. How was that transition? Because I know people find that difficult to let go. Yeah, to, in my opinion, a lot of the difficulty comes from like, you always gotta, you always gotta showcase your your gains, and that comes from some sort of insecurity, I guess. That that's how I was at least, mm -hmm. and so it was hard letting it go. But eventually, you know, you just don't care about it that much. I feel like people care way too much about that mm -hmm. when it comes to fashion. I was just exploring different different styles, tried out baggier stuff. Was there a moment mm -hmm. it clicked, or was it like a transition? I feel like it was a transition. I think it's got to be a transition because I still like wearing slim fitting clothes. Mm -hmm. um, I wear both. You know, I don't mind. Oh yeah, I'm a skinny jeans advocate. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I, I don't mind any any form-fitting clothes or baggy clothes. I like trying them all because you gotta be open-minded with that stuff, you know? I feel like that is a big one. There, there comes a point where like, 
people love getting married and dating specific aesthetics, but yeah. I feel like you either stay there or like there comes a point where That's you- That's the thing, when people stay there, it's re you gotta respect that, I, you know? Dude, I love that. When mm -hmm. someone stays there for years, yeah. oh man, I envy that. Yeah, for real. Cause I'm like, dude, you're you're set. You know it's a mean? simpler life. <laughs> it's such <laughs> a simpler life, man. It's like the way we look at the Amish. Yeah. Those guys are good. Yeah. You know, they're just doing the same things every day. It's that guy wearing skinny jeans with uh, with like Saint Laurent Wyatt's and like a slim t-shirt every day. Mm -hmm. It's like pattern t-shirt or something. That's the like guy, a rayon man. shirt. Yeah. That's the guy, man. Like they don't gotta worry about nothing. Yeah. What's been your thought process when it comes to shopping now that you've you've made videos for like seven years? I'm sure you think differently than when you first started. Yeah. Um, so now when I'm buying clothes, I'm trying to be more like precise and calculated with my spending and like with my purchases because no one likes closet bloat. Right. Like right. when you just have a whole bunch of stuff you never wear and it's just there, you know? Yeah, and you don't want to throw it away because it's like money. That's like a mental drain too. It is a mental drain. So like when I'm trying to build an outfit, I'm just like sifting through dirt that I know I'm not gonna wear to hopefully land on something that I might find interesting. And so right now I'm trying to be more accurate about it. Just think harder about my pieces. So uh, whatever it needs to be for, like if I'm buying clothes for a purpose, like, you know, like if I'm buying clothes for like a wedding or if I'm buying clothes for like a, a specific moment, if I can, if I have like, if I have the, if the, I have the right idea, the right time and like the right finance, I'll try and make sure that whatever I buy, I'm gonna be able to wear like for a long time. Right. Like recently, like me and my friends, were gonna do like this, uh, we're going to like a pool party in Vegas. I just needed swim shorts. And I didn't want to go out and just buy like swim shorts I was going to wear once. And mm. So I took the time to like go, like we went to a mall and like we shopped around and I found some swim shorts. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to be able to wear these like anytime I go swimming. And just that thought, you know, regardless of how they look or like whatever, like how much they cost or like that doesn't matter. It's just the thought that like, I really like these shorts and I know I'm going to be able to wear these for a long time. Even if it right. just fit this specific scenario, there's gonna be another time when I go swimming. Right. Having that mentality for everything has really made my wardrobe a lot cleaner. And yeah, so one of my favorite uh, accomplishments with this thought process. This is the acronym J28K, I think, or no, I'm not, I'm, I'm tripping. This is a J, what the fuck am I talking about? You see, I don't know because I'm wearing it. <laughs> you know, that's what's most important. So this jacket, I uh, I remember just seeing on like, a, like the Essence website when I was browsing. Yeah. And I remember thinking like, wow, this is a very like subtle acronym jacket. Right. Like usually the jackets like the J1A yeah. are like really like, you know? And even like some of the other jackets, there's just very, it's very apparent mm -hmm. that it's very tech wear. And I seen this and I remember thinking like, oh, this is like, you can't even tell, which might lose appeal for a lot of people. But I remember thinking like, the reason I like acronym is, is like the design is nice, but I'm there mainly because of Errolson's approach to clothing. Right. It comes from like an architectural standpoint where he's trying to problem solve and engineer like the perfect piece of clothing for this specific um, environment, for this specific situation. And that's kind of like where my mind has gone, not in the technical literal sense, but like even for style, like I like to think of like, okay, if I'm gonna buy this jacket, I can wear it out, I can wear it casually, right. whatever. And um, this jacket kind of just fit all the boxes. You know, it was a very pricey jacket. Um, I did wait for it to go on sale, which you should. Yeah. I think most people, like for acronym, like if you're just casually just buying acronym MSRP, that's crazy. Yeah. Like God, God is gonna, you're gonna pay for that later. Like God is gonna judge you, but, um, so yeah, this is a, it's just a really plain, you know, basic, there's nothing on the back. Uh, it's just a really plain jacket that's obviously waterproof, but my mindset going into this was like, I'm gonna only, this is the only waterproof jacket I'm ever yeah. gonna need. Yeah, this is literally, that's all you need for any situation, yeah. hiking. And it's been about a year since I bought this and I have not even thought about buying another waterproof mm. jacket. I have a couple, like I, ha I have, I've had a couple like, Arc'teryx jackets before this, but I never wear anything else. I wear this like all the time. I wear this like even when it's not raining. Like it's just yeah. a good like casual jacket. You just leave it open, and it's just a cool like jacket to throw on. Wear with wear at any given time. And also, you know, you can't help but think it's also an acronym jacket. It's, right. It's cool. You can't like deny the cool factor. Their like, marketing 
people Their think about that. Don't. Like you want to lie and be like, it's not about the brand. It's 2023. It's about the brand. Absolutely. It's cool. To, it's fine to be about the brand, but why are you buying the brand? That's the main thing. So yeah, that's, that's why I have this. And I feel like this has been a really, this has been my greatest, I, I'd say in terms of objective purchases, it's like lived up to everything that I wanted it to. Mm. And um, I can see, I have not gotten bored of it. I can see myself wearing this forever. That's like the ultimate piece. Yeah. That, yeah. And that's like what you ask for yeah. when you, when you're, when you're trying to buy clothes anyway. Especially at that price. Especially at this Especially price. Especially at this price, yeah. So yeah, I think it's a J96. The, the hood's detachable too, so it turns into just That's like- That's right, yeah. It has a really Yeah, dude, they thought of everything and it's fun. Color. Like, it's, Is this the one where you can attach your AirPods Yeah, to it? there's the magnet. Hey. Yeah, so like a year into having this thing, I'm still like finding new shit about it that, yeah. that I like did not realize. Yeah, I like this aspect of um, when you clip the buttons. Yeah, Because you, you don't have to grab the inside of your jacket. There's a little loop for your phone. Yeah, it's perfect, it. man. Yeah. And details. And you don't have to fucking zip up the jacket. It's nice. So yeah, this has to me been like my best purchase almost ever. Mm. You know? Is it worth the price? Like can I get stuff that's like, oh wow, I didn't even Well if it's the only jacket. <laughs> Dude, I... What happened? See, like I did not know about this. You just found out something. You new? can cinch the hood. Oh snap. Oh, that's what that's for. Learning something. See what every I mean? Day. No, dude, this is crazy. Like well, if it's the only jacket you need to buy for the, probably the rest of your life, then it's definitely, definitely worth it. You know what, If I, don't, I haven't done the math, but I think if I wear this a couple thousand times, it comes out to like just as much cost per wear as a regular waterproof jacket. Mm. So in a couple of years, it'll be, it's almost like I just spent 50 bucks on a jacket. True, true. But yeah, this has been the ultimate purchase for me. Everyone nice. needs to find theirs. What about you? What's been your What's been your favorite purchase lately? I just bought some cargos from Fried Rice, which is actually this brand right here. I bought it to support my um, Maya. She's a designer for that brand. Oh, cool! It's really it's really cool seeing their journey, going from a really small pop up. They ended up in High Beast. Um, they're in Urban Outfitters now. It's really cool. So oh, shit. I just wanted to support. That's a big account, them. man. Yeah, they're making so, money. I guess that one was one because more. Um, I know what it's like to, you know, run a clothing brand too. So. Any support, you know, is very much appreciated. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess that piece, it was, it's a, I haven't even shown it in video yet. It's a, I'll show the B-roll right yeah, now. Yeah, look at this B-roll. I wish I could see this. Voice me over <laughs> on the B-roll, I'm voicing over the B-roll right, right now. let's go. Look at this. Oh, look at these pockets right here. I wish I was, I wish I was these pockets right here. Got some straps too. Oh my, I wish I was these straps right here. Look at these straps. Mm. Oh, pull me. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. There we go. Those were those cargos. I yeah. made them. Now maybe you might get excited about them now. Now, now they might purchase. Yeah, maybe you'll be excited now. <laughs> All right, y'all, interjecting again, I just wanna let y'all know that I am doing a Black Friday sale for my brand, A Choice Made, and we've actually updated our caps right here to a double puff embroidery. Before, it was just a simple embroidery, and it looked kind of fuzzy if you looked up very close, but this is a double puff, so it's very, very detailed. You can tell it's a little bit raised off the hat, and it just looks so nice. This is the final version. I'm probably not gonna restock these hats ever again, because it's time to move on to other designs. There's also gonna be a ton of other items on sale for Black Friday. You know, some leftover pieces, we have like one extra hoodie, a few more trays, and then our art piece. They are gonna be heavily discounted. So the sale starts on Thanksgiving Day. It's going to close on Monday. And fellas, if you're on our email list, you're gonna get a special email for an additional discount for Black Friday. So you're gonna save a lot of money on these pieces. And again, I'm not restocking these pieces ever again. So just click that link in the description. I appreciate you guys' support. Let's get back to it. <laughs> All right, last piece. So um, the last piece didn't really have a category for it. I just thought it was like, I needed to share this specific piece. I'm just gonna bring them out. I'm gonna let the cam I'm not gonna do no talking about them first. I'm gonna just let the camera see it so that the audience can see it and they can do some talking for themselves and see why and maybe, maybe judge first. You know, go ahead and judge. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of judging. Look at that. Oh, oh man. It's seen some some day, better days, man. You know what though? They don't smell. Yeah, they don't smell like anything. They don't smell like anything. <laughs> it's that Asian gene, man. We don't smell bad. Yeah, I mean, and we take off our shoes too. I used to run with these barefoot. Okay. Yeah. That, that actually doesn't make sense then. Dude, these smell like the brand new. <laughs> they don't smell like anything. Maybe that should be the thumbnail. A yeah. sniff in a pair of shoes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, my yeah, feet- Yeah, what's the story behind these? Okay, so 
These are a pair of Vans Authentic Comfy Cush. As you can see, the sole has a little bit of a, a lift to it. They're a little bit chunkier. The inside's pretty soft. So wow. I bought these in like, what, 2018, 2019? Something like that. As you can tell, I wore the shit out of these. Mm -hmm. like, I wore these down to the ground. There's like four foot drag. When do you get four foot drag? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's drag. Yeah, right up here. There's drag wow. all, all over these things, dude. That makes dude. no sense. Doesn't make any sense. Oh wait, didn't you skate in these? Did you skate in these? Maybe a little bit. Cause it, I mean, I mean yeah, you, you skate goofy, right? It, no, I was, I was, uh, I was, I was regular. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause there is the fucking kickflip hole. Yeah. I don't know if you can see my Instagram handle. This is what they are named after. So um, the story behind these, I remember just like realizing that I really love white vans and I wanted to buy a pair of white vans that I could wear every day. I was just kind of obsessed with the idea of having a thing that you wear every day. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. And I wore these every day for like, I mean, not every day, but like 90% of my days for like, three years or something like that. And then I wore them on and off for another like one, like another year. These are very sentimental to me. Cause like I wore the, uh, these like survived through the pandemic. I oh. remember just like wearing these around the house to feel normal. Yeah, yeah. You know, just putting on shoes just so I can feel a sense of normalcy. And um, because they're the comfy cush, I don't know what it is, but like I could run in these. So uh, I ran a half marathon in these. And- Was that 13 miles? 13.1 <laughs> miles, yeah. yeah. The fact that I was able to do it in vans, like, this is a zero drop shoe. There's no heel. Yeah. You know, they're pretty flat. They just have been through a lot. And it's like the fact that I was able to get away with wearing a shoe this much and just really getting into them. And you know, there's like a, there's like a lot of, they've just been through like a very, I've lived a lot in them yeah. is what I'm trying to say. And I think they carry those memories as you can see. Yeah, Did, didn't you hike in these when we, when we I, hiked We did that nine hour hike in oh, these. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So that's probably why they're also banged up. Yeah. I remember, oh, uh, yeah. like, at the. Weren't those new when, you, when we hiked? Were they new? I think I, yeah. Because this was just like got them. 2018 or 2018. Like that. I yeah. just got them. I didn't sleep. That's right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He I slept like 20 up, minutes. I, yeah, I slept in the car. I was like, yo, we'll do it, man. You know, like, we're boys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't sleep. So then. I, and I felt good at first, but on the way down, my body started shutting down. We had a walking stick and I had Johnny yeah. on the other arm. And my calves started cramping too. Yeah, so we, were, we, just, were, dying. we were just going down like, Ugh! Oh man. But yeah, so these, I brought these on because I'm probably at some point gonna frame these or something, you know, like these have just really, man, there's like hair on them. Like whose hair is that? Are you gonna wear those to the Met Gala? You ever get yeah, so that's the thing. If I ever get invited, uh, full circle. When I do full get circle. invited, I will be wearing these at least for just a photo. Mm. You know, whatever they Getty style images. me in. You know, just just to wear them on there. But yeah, this is the Vans from the Vans at the Met Gala. So and I and I've like retired them. Like there was a point where I was like, dude, I gotta stop. <laughs> like <laughs> your toe sticking out. Got disgusted. No, like re really though. Like if I put these on, like my toe comes out yeah. like this. I was like, at some point, I'm like, this is getting disgusting. I have to retire them. And so I, uh, I did. I, I, re I forgot what I did specifically to retire them. There was a, I remember like wearing them to an event, thinking like, mm. all right, this is the last thing. But I did retire them. I don't wear them anymore. Obviously, I just keep them in the closet. I'm waiting for the day. I'm waiting for the day I can pull these out the red carpet of the Met Gala. But yeah, so I brought this on as the last piece because this is probably the most sentimental piece. I don't usually get sentimental about things. I'm really good at just like, eh. you know, like the memories are here. They're not with the item. Uh, but these things, I'm just like something about this. I just have to keep these until there's a time where I can wear them again one last time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, not everyone's gonna have a fucking story like that for a pair right. of Vans. But I just think it's funny because they're, they're just a stupid, authentic pair of Vans that just have this crazy story to me. But yeah, that is, those are the five pieces. We'll get all of them on screen right here. And yeah, so what, 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 do you, what piece of clothing in your wardrobe do you think you hold the most sentimental value to? Hold the most sentimental value? Probably my denim jacket that um, I got from my dad. Oh, your d yeah, the, yeah, the one from your dad. I remember so you bought that in like that. the 80s. Yeah, I think he told me he bought it for like 30 bucks, which is like 200 bucks back now. Then. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, he he wore that a lot. I see, I have a lot of pictures of him wearing it. And um, I just asked like, do you wear this anymore? And he said no. And then 
It's like, can I take it? And then, um, so yeah, you can take it. And I think he was happy that I took it, to be honest. Because you get to live, I guess, another life. Yeah, so um, definitely very sentimental to me. And I always recommend that to anyone. Like, if, if they're looking for free clothes. Yeah, you know, raid your dad's closet. Raid man. your dad, your uncle. I have that too. So I was cleaning out my closet the other day and my dad had this like polo windbreaker type jacket that uh, I just saw in my ward that I never wear. Mm -hmm. But I know it's my dad's. So I like keep it there, right? You know, I think it's nice to have clothes with sentimental value, but you shouldn't like hoard things. Absolutely. Because cause there's so many memories, dude. Yeah. Like, just, when you're trying to like clean things out and you look at like, oh, I remember these shoes. Like, dude, just forget about it. Like you have it up here. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, it's nice to have like some pieces around that you're just like tell a lot of stories. That's yeah. Yeah. So right? that was Christian's favorite, favorite items, favorite garments. Um, some dull pieces, man. I yeah, really, man, I, I had to those. really wire it down. You told me to pick five of my whole Your my wardrobe, whole wardrobe. Is massive. Um, thank you for having me on, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate this, though. Like, when do we get to, when do we ever get to film anything? Yeah, dude. I, I think the last one we did was with the, the Kiss Boots. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just an inclusion in the yeah, video. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Damn. I kind of miss doing stuff like that. Let us know what your five pieces are of anything your favorite five pieces um let us know which one of which one of the five was your favorite personally my favorite were the vans yeah i think vans for me too because just because uh um, i've seen you wear that basically every day dude <laughs> and then when we hiked together when you yeah, were wearing man. those crazy stories i wore those in new mexico that's right white i wore sands. those at white sands actually i, I think i have the we clip. have we'll the clip here. yeah of me wearing those at white sands wait we'll what watch are you wearing by the way this is a larvae uh, oh, that looks dope. I just like it because it's funny. I like how ugly it is, but um, that's been a big theme of me lately. I like ugly clothes. I like right now, that's my, where I'm at, man. When something's ugly, there's just a factor to it that's like, it's not supposed to be cool. Mm -hmm. And that's why it is cool. Let us know if you're ugly. <laughs> if you're ugly, comment in the chat. If you're not ugly, stay out of the conversation. Only uglies in the chat. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. But only if you're ugly. <laughs> Comment if you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. All right, Appreciate man. Appreciate this, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's the first in this series. Let me know if you guys have any feedback, how we can improve this type of content, who else you want me to talk to, if there's any questions you want me to ask. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this type of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly, deuces.